Hi team. Um, what a great weekend this weekend was at Ruakaka. So beautiful. I was up there and enjoying the sunshine and uh, took the kitties and um, really enjoyed the, the day. Um, and of course, uh, Los Angeles won. So congratulations team. What a brilliant effort by her. Certainly wasn't expecting her to win so dominantly. Um, she really put her best foot forward, put the pressure on at the 1000 and just uh, strolled on past. The, so um, we're really looking forward to what was up next. Um, I did talk to Chris a little bit on, on course and um, now that she has won uh, quite dominantly, uh, probably we'll be looking at options, but one of them would be Hastings. Um, yeah, no, I'm thrilled. And she, she did a fantastic time, 2.11, um, and on a dead four track. Uh, I can't say what, what what more could you ask for really it was a really dominant win and really strong win she lost a plate came back um, in and had lost a shoe um, so it even makes it more impressive uh, Trudy wrote her a treat just wrote her perfectly and um, couldn't thank her more um, for that wonderful ride um, so yeah congratulations team angel i know there was so many of you there and it was so great to have you all crowded into that little winner's room um but yeah it was definitely worth it and wow what a day um so also i did catch up with uh, phil stevens for um hot and high heels i just wanted to find out what her eta is for getting to the races he said he needs to get a get her a gallop um she's had a lot of groundwork put in um so she's quite fit but he needs to see where she fits in when she does that gallop. So we're hoping to get um, a race out of her or two races out of her before the tracks get too hard. Give her a break over that little bit of summer, like December, January when it's rock hard and then bring her back. Um, but with all aims and intention of getting that black type and really targeting some races for her, not just um, picking them out of the hat because obviously we're walking a fine line with her and time Time is of the essence and also we have to make sure we, we don't break her. Um, but she is looking magnificent apparently. Um, Phil just said that she's just so strong across the ass and across her neck and she just really developed. He said she looks absolutely incredible. So um, that's great news for, for Bloodstock Achieving Excellence. Um, the other things that are going on, we've got Ruby Armani heading back to Hastings or down to Hastings. Um, I will be in touch more later in the week with that. Um, but again, um, another great weekend coming up of racing and very exciting spring racing ahead for all of our horses. And uh, dance, dance, dance. She apparently is just in fine fettle and it feels like uh, they just said they can't really hold her in the track work. She just feels absolutely incredible. So um, that's good news um, as well. So um, looking forward to the great, the, the great horses coming um, up for spring and also our beautiful horses coming through at the same time and aiming for those great races uh, Steppenwolf's also knocking on the door to go get there um, And so we've got we've got quite a few we've got a couple of youngsters coming through that haven't got to the trainers yet So I will update you then um, Emma Vita and um, a nice charm spirit filly um, Who are going to who's going to uh, to be trained by um, Mike Moroni and Pam Gerard. So, um, so yeah, so um, I did tell Chris that Emma Lavita will be, be up there after she's finished pre-training at Coniston Lodge. He's very excited after that Lean Mean Machines win um, a couple of weeks back. That was uh, a, quite an impressive win. So I'm quite looking forward to having Emma Lavita um, get up there and um, see what she can do. I uh, think that she's quite a, quite a promising little two-year-old type. So um, looking forward to that. But anyway, um, that's a short brief um, what's going on today um, and this week and has been going on that last weekend. And I, can, I will be in touch at the end of the week with what's happening on Saturday and um, bring you up to speed with that. That's Backs on Track.